Hi, my name is Johan, and I play bass in you. And I'm Jonas, and I sing in you. Okay, so it's the second time here in Malaysia. I mean, as Mew, but it's, is it your first time? You My watch? first, yeah. Yeah, your first time. Okay, so anything you guys are looking forward to in particular? Yeah, I mean, obviously playing to a lot of people. Uh, the show is almost sold out, so that's really nice. And just getting into Kuala Lumpur last night uh, was really exciting. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's such a futuristic looking city, so I, I can't wait to explore it. Yeah, last anything you remember from last time you were here? <laughs> mm, last time I was here was, was quite amazing because we had four days off here uh, and I got to see a lot of stuff. I took a, a, cook, a cooking course, oh. Malaysian cooking out in the mountains and saw lots, like saw some of the jungle and it was really oh. cool. On this, uh, unfortunately, there's, there's not that much time this time around, but I think tomorrow we're going to have a little bit of a time off before the flight. So I'm hoping yeah. to do some sightseeing. Ah, it's a good question. I mean, uh, I, I just think that we, you know, regardless of, of the dynamics in the band, we just had a great time touring the last record and, and it just uh, felt really like things were starting to happen and uh, you know, many people came to the shows, and it was just great fun, mm -hmm. really. And 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 I think that was something that you know we hadn't you know experienced in a while, and, and it was a long time since the previous record, so it just felt fun to come out and do it again. And riding on that wave of of, of fun and, and positivity, it just felt natural to to write songs that that had that. Um, sort of positive spirit in them. Um, it wasn't something we did conscious, you know, or consciously, it wasn't something we said, Luke, now it's time for a positive record. It <laughs> yeah. was just kind of how it came I out. Definitely, I definitely think it, it was time to make an album that didn't have these like big, sort of heavy uh, yeah. works in them. <clears throat> um, I don't know if the next one is going to be even heavier, but uh, yeah. for this, but yeah, it felt, I don't know, yeah, it just came together naturally this way and, uh, and it feels very sort of intuitive so yeah, it feels good okay so you guys have been friends for a very long time right since you were six yeah ooh, the very first this was with toby yeah 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 there were kind of a couple of incarnations because Jonas and Bo had started playing together when, like, before we started new kind of, and then Bo took off and did one year in America in high school, and during that year, Jonas, myself, and another old friend called Tobias, uh, we kind of started the band, I mm. guess, which is, yeah, sort of the closest. It was called something else back then. Yeah. And, uh, what was it called? Can we know? <laughs> We had so many different names. Bad names. <laughs> I think we were called the Orange Dog. Yeah, what part is that? The Orange Dog. Or Jean Orange. Yeah, like in French. The yeah. Orange Dog in French. This was the 90s, you know. <laughs> 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 we were allowed to have silly names. Uh, yeah. I, mean, it I think actually No More Stories was, was very difficult to make because we that was the, First time we experienced that kind of change in dynamics, and uh, and we sort of had to, you know, I, I kind of stopped playing guitar by then and uh, started playing more keys because we needed something to sort of flesh out the songs more, and uh, because we didn't have a bass. And, uh, it was more experimental, was it? Um, yeah, I mean that album feels more like a, a produced kind of thing to me. Um, more than sort of like a live playing album, which which was was cool at the time as well. But uh, I think when Yoni came back, it, it felt more natural, um, more like a band again, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, there are a, a bunch of differences, um, but I think the overall 
the one thing that's the same is, is bringing joy to a, to a lot of people. You know, that you get this interaction between the five of us on stage and, and, and an audience, you know. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely uh, chemistry and it's, it's something that's, I think, one of the most beautiful things about the job that you have and the thing that you do is, is that you actually get to go to, well, it doesn't matter really if it's Oslo or it's uh, Kuala Lumpur, you know, it's just, you get that interaction with people and that's such a <clears throat> But it is amazing too to come to places that we don't go very often and then still have a great turnout. Mm -hmm. We're kind of amazed at how do people discover us, how they know we exist, you know, it's, yeah. a, it's a beautiful thing. I used to when I was a little younger, um, but, but I think it's difficult, you know, just finding the time and energy with kids and both girlfriends and all that stuff. Um, but if there's if there a ba if there's a band in town that I really want to see, I try and go and see it, you know, because it, it can be a wonderful experience, you know. So and something that sort of reminds you, it, yeah, and, and reminds you of how it was back when you started mm. becoming interested in music. You know that, you know, on the on the good show nights, you know, when you go and see a great band, it kind of takes you back to wow, when I was a 14-year-old kid going to my first show. So yeah. and that whole energy you get from that is amazing. Okay. Yeah, I still I still go to quite a lot of shows. Uh, I, in an ideal world, I would go to a lot more, but, uh, but there's, there's a lot of work and um, <laughs> scheduling around, you know, and, and we're gone a lot of the time, so... Um, so yeah, but yeah, definitely. So yeah, there's a... Yeah, there's a band. Called Blue Foundation. Uh, actually, Toby, who used to be in our, in our band, he uh, did his own band called Blue Foundation. And whenever they played Denmark, uh, yeah. they live in New York now. Yeah, I always kind of see them sometimes sing with them on stage. Um, there's, a, there's a new Danish band called Lowly that I really like. Yeah, there, I mean, there's lots to choose from yeah. you if, if you have the time and want to. I see the coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah. The switch to the yeah. office. Yeah. 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 Please do. I need it. Thank you. Come back the gym bag. Yeah. So, okay, I think we'll get on to the last one actually. Um, so, usually people think musicians always seek inspiration externally, right? But as for you guys, you guys reflect more like on your own music. Like to you know move forward and to cre keep on creating has it always been that way with me like with that sound? I, I, it was something. I mean, it's not something that I've thought about much in the past, but it was something that you know having spent seven years out of the band, coming back into the band before the plus minus record, it, it was just something that struck me that the main I had to sort of rediscover what was great about the band because I hadn't really you know, played it or listened to it for so long. Uh, and and then it just struck me that once you, you know, have made a certain amount of records, you create your own type of sound and your own kind of style musically. And I think when you're on your seventh record like we are, it's more important almost to make sure that you do something that you haven't done so much in the past and that you're conscious about where you've been as a band and where you want to take it. and what you like about the past and what you maybe dislike. And that's what I, I think I've, I've meant when, whenever I've said that, that inspiration seems to be a little more internal. But I think we on this record, we really sort of kept it very close-knit and, and did pretty much everything ourselves, you know, from artwork to the visual backgrounds of the live show to, to the production of the record, to the writing of the song. So it was very much sort of, usually we've sort of seeked you know, maybe a little more influence from the outside, but this time it just felt like we need to kind of keep it kind of tight and just mm, do what the three of us, I guess maybe it's a, a natural uh, uh, conclusion from, from, from a situation where you, you go from four to three, you sort of, you know, you, you get a little more protected maybe about, you know, the thing that you have together. And, and um, yeah, it just, it, was, it just felt like that was the natural thing to, to do. Mm. The same. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having us.